All right, we are live. Hopefully we'll see. Twitch never seems to want to let me watch my own stream. So I'll just get going and assume that, that everything is working. Okay, there we go. So post shower, we're gonna do a little bit of hair care, a little bit of skincare here. And I will do a little bit of nightly stretching. But first things first, I do need to comb out my hair. Ay, ay, ay. Because I had it towel dry a little bit. Now I gotta comb it out a little bit. Kind of get it a little more under control and I can put all my products I want in it. I do choose to, like, after shower, like, comb my hair with a wide tooth comb just because then it's like less damaging to my hair it pulls out less i mean i feel like you'll still see some of my hair come out but it'll be less of it than with like a brush because i definitely used to use a brush like previously to like post shower but it just it pulls out too much of my hair and because i color treat my hair i need as much of my hair to stay in as possible so i try to just hold my hair as well as i comb it just so that I'm not being too rough on my hair, but all right, I think we're in a good place here for products. No, okay, it's still stuck. <laughs> all right, now we look like we're we're good. I should have combed it like right after I got out of the shower, but I wanted to eat a little bit of a snack first, so didn't do that. All right. That looks pretty decent. My hair's actually pretty dry right now. I think I showered probably like a half hour ago or so. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of leave-in conditioner. I guess this is a leave-in molecular repair mask. This is the K18 um, mask. And I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit pricey, um, but I'm gonna take like two pumps of this. And I try to only use this like once or twice a week on my hair just because it is like $75 for this little thing and it only lasts me for like three months. So it's kind of a lot to spend on hair, but I do really like it. I feel like it does actually repair, repair my hair because <laughs> I've dyed it quite a bit. So I'm going to try to fix that. All right. I've just kind of loosely finger combed this all through through my hair here. All right, looks pretty good. I'm gonna go in with some of my, the Ordinary Hair Care. This is the multi-peptide serum for hair density. And I'm gonna just put this in my hair. I'm gonna go in like a couple times with it. I'm gonna put it all over my scalp and then just massage this in lightly. I really don't do too much to my hair. Um, I feel like I put in like a good number of products. So like every night before bed, I will put this in as well as like an overnight oil, but I really don't like style my hair that often. Like I love my hair curled. I just don't curl it that often. All right. It's sufficiently massaged in. I'm just gonna take a little bit of hair oil. Um, I do have this little Olaplex number seven that I feel like I should just finish off, but I typically use the Verb Ghost Oil, which I'm running out of, because I used to use this every day on my hair. Um, but I work from home, so I'm like, I don't need to put hair oil, like expensive hair oil on my hair every day. So we're gonna go in with a little bit of the Olaplex here and just all you need is like a couple drops and so you're supposed to just kind of like hit the top of the bottle to get some of it to come out. I mean there's like barely anything left in here. Like I think there's like maybe one more use left in here. <laughs> That's okay. So I'm gonna take this down the ends of my hair here. Just it's supposed to help rebond your hair, so hopefully it's rebonding everything at the bottom of my hair here. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do to my hair. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a little bit of chapstick while we're here as well. And I did do, 
the Exfoliate. It's like an exfoliator made by like I think Kate Somerville. Um, I just know it's called Exfoliate, which I think is funny because it's like Exfoliate, but like Exfoliate. Um, so I used that for the first time when I was in the shower, and I don't know if it was because I was in the shower and it was super steamy, or if the product like really hurts my face. Uh, but it was burning when I was in the shower because you just like massage it in for thirty seconds. And then just like let it sit for two minutes. And I don't even think I made it to two minutes. I was like, ah, this is burning my face. So I'm going to go in with my more gentle toner tonight. Even though um, I should be going in with my um, AHA BHA toner. Just to help kind of exfoliate the skin and like turn cells over. But honestly my face burned from the exfoliate. So I'm going to go in with the glycolic acid toning solution. Because um, this one seems a little bit more mild. So... I'm going to go in with the Ordinary Glycolic Solution here on a little reusable cotton round. I'm just going to press it into my face. This does sometimes make my face burn a little bit, but I'm going to try to just use a little bit on my face so I don't have too much of that issue. Just let that soak in. And then I'm going to go in with, I'm not going to lie to you all, I'm like making this up as I go. Like I have a bunch of products and I feel like I should write out a routine for them, but I kind of just grab whatever each night. So I'm going to go in with, let's see here, what do I want to do? All right, got all my stuff, got a routine made. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of different gel um, just to help with just acne and just acne scars and just turning my skin over just making it more more smooth so just going in with a little bit a little bit of this just kind of everywhere <laughs> make sure that's all in there as you can see my skin is like a little bit sensitive because I've just started touching it with stuff and it is like a little bit red but that's okay I'm gonna go in with the Clarins Refresh Spray. This is like basically like a lotion in spray form, which is great. If you're like a little bit lazy like me, you just wanna like, I don't wanna like stick a whole another product on my face. I just spray this one on, it's beautiful. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in while that's kind of drying into my face, I'm gonna go in with my eyelash and eyebrow products. So we're just gonna go in with this Lavish Lash product. I'm gonna just put this on my brows here just to help regrow some of them in. And I'm gonna go in with the Grande Lash Grande Serum here and just put this as like a little thin line on top, like an eyeliner. Typically like the most products I do are at night. I just feel like I have more time than in the morning the morning, I'm just always rushing for work. Hello, Jonah. Welcome to the stream. So I just do a lot more like skincare, hair care stuff like at night just because I feel like I have more time. All I'm doing at night is preventing myself from sleeping. <laughs> In the morning, I just am like rushing to work and rushing to meetings and all that. So I just don't have that much time in the morning to do like skincare stuff. So the majority of my skincare, I do at night. I just went in with a little bit of the Grande Repair Leave-In Lash Conditioner. It's basically just like a little mascara. Um, you could use it as a mascara or like under a mascara if you want, but it just helps keep your lashes nice and strong. So all of these are on. I'm gonna do my last step in skincare and then we will move to stretching. I'm gonna go in with the La Roche-Posay Cica Blast Balm. This is basically like a really thick lotion, but I like it. <laughs> So as you can see, it goes on very thick. But it just helps to moisturize my skin and just lock in all of the products I put on my face. I feel like I don't use anything too, too expensive on my face, but hey, let's lock it all in with this balm and just keep it on my face. <laughs> just going all over with this here. I'm also just going to take a little bit of it and go down my neck and chest also because I don't want to get wrinkly. <laughs> and just take what I've got here. 
Let's put this on, on down. It was a little bit harder because I think there's a microphone in the way, but that's okay. You get the idea. All right, that is my skin and hair post-shower nightly. So now we're gonna move into stretching. So we're gonna do a quick location change. So hang in there with me. All right, let's see if I set up the angles correctly here. Okay, not bad. Let's move this a little bit so it looks, I don't know, slightly better. <laughs> All right, let's do a little bit of, a little bit of stretching. My stream is a little bit behind. Um, or like what I'm watching is like a little bit behind what's actually happening. So, okay, let me maybe tilt this down just a smidge. Okay. Oh, that's going to fall over. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that. Let's see how that works. So first up, we're just going to do a little bit of a butterfly here. I'm just going to like slowly start to like lean into it a little bit just so that I'm a little bit more, more ready when I, <laughs> when I try to flatten myself to the ground. All right, ready, here we go. All right, wasn't too bad. <laughs> I kinda look like I'm just like rocking nervously in the stream. <laughs> you know, as if it like didn't already hurt. We're just gonna, I'm gonna take it a little bit lower to the floor here. And just really get that stretch in. So I'm gonna extend one leg. Let's do my less good leg first. I am less flexible on this side for some reason, so I am still uploading to YouTube. Um, I don't upload everything to YouTube though, just kind of like YouTube friendly content, but I do still upload there like 24 hours after I've streamed here. All right, I'm going to try to reach for my other leg here. Eh, I'm close. I'm also going to take this to the center here, just really get into the stretch. I'm trying to like not to put my hair all over the floor <laughs> that I just watch, washed, but I think it's happening. <laughs> just leaning over the front here, really getting into this stretch. All right, now we're going to try to think, can I do like a smooth transition here? No. <laughs> <laughs> switch over to the other leg here I was gonna try to like transition to like a little bit of a lunge but I couldn't think through how to do that like as smooth as I wanted because <laughs> I feel like in the couple of yoga classes I've gone to like they just like flow through like all these like yoga stretches like so seamlessly um and I just cannot make that happen for myself <laughs> so I'll show you all in a second I'll try to like I'll try to show you show you guys a little bit of what I've learned from like the maybe five yoga classes I've attended total. I'm just gonna take this stretch to the center. Just, you know, hurt myself a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so like in one of the yoga classes I took, so there's like you're like up like this and you're like stretching like this, and then well, I guess it should look a little more elegant. Then you just kind of like fold yourself down into it and you just kind of like flip between the two and it's just like a very nice seamless transition um but i feel like i can't transition seamlessly between my stretches but that's okay <laughs> we're gonna do a little bit of a lunge here let's do this side first <laughs> i'm just gonna do a little bit of a lunge and just kind of like rock myself back and forth just so that you know i get a little bit more what more of a nice little lungy stretch here. Oh, this one's going to be a, a good transition. Okay. 
sort of good. <laughs> I could have made that better. That's okay. We'll work on it. So I'm just gonna, gonna make little L's here and just stretch forward into this one. And then I'm gonna just extend my back leg here. Okay, that was a decent transition. <laughs> Just gonna stretch here a little bit, stretch my back a little bit. Ooh, I'm gonna fall over. I wish my splits looked like this. I wish, I wish they were at this level, but they're not. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna flip and do the same thing over on this side. Just get a little lunge going, a little rock with the lunge. I'm going to try to transition smoothly here to the next little stretch. Little L's going on each leg. Just going to take it down over the front. And then roll it back. Just kind of like arch my back here a little bit just to get into the stretch. I just like really feel it in here like this is this is a good one <laughs> all right I'm gonna move to my favorite stretch so I'm gonna just rock back here I guess I could have just given myself a concussion but that's okay <laughs> I'm gonna place my ankle on top of my knee pull this towards me oh hurts so good <laughs> do the same thing over on the other side had I planned this a little bit better I could have had some soothing music going but I <laughs> feel like I don't plan ahead enough to have like three devices all charged up and ready to go at the same time or like four because I stream on my iPad I watch on my phone and then I have like my little mic and like when I want to play music then I have to have my laptop involved so I have like four things ready and sometimes I don't I don't have myself together enough for that <laughs> that's just as other streams but you do need music I know we're working on it we're working on it <laughs> okay I'm gonna move into okay we're gonna do a little bit more a little bit more here just gonna twist each each side. Okay, this hurts. <laughs> I'm gonna twist on the other side. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why that stretch hurt me so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do a little bit more back stretching. I don't know what that was, but that was a painful stretch. <laughs> I'm just going to. Just kind of alternate here a little bit of bending my back. My hair is going all over the place. <laughs> That's okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to mix it up here a little bit. I feel like normally I stretch my back. I have like both of my legs bent, but I'm gonna do one straight tonight. I'm just gonna twist here. Sometimes my back will like pop on the stream when I do this, but we're good today. Oh, my knee just popped, okay. A little something for you all. <laughs> I'm gonna twist to this side as well here. Do a little bit of arm stretch so I'm gonna get back into my little my little butterfly my little butterfly here I stretch my arms I really just need like a good wrist stretch because I spend all day like typing things like I'll find myself like trying to do my little wrist stretch that I do like during these streams like during my work day Butterfly is a safe stretch. That's true, but it still hurts. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do my little wrist stretch here. I feel like I do this one during my work day because just like sometimes, I don't know, like my wrists are cramping. Like when I was gaming like last night, 
my wrists were cramping because <laughs> I got to I don't know if it's like my quest or what it is that I'm supposed to like kill like 300 of these like skeleton monsters in the forest and like I can only kill them in like increments of 10 just me like aggressively pressing buttons um <laughs> so it was it was a long night of just aggressively pressing a lot of buttons and so I definitely needed to stretch my wrist less <laughs> all right I'm trying to think what else that I have to do I feel like I kind of got everything but we'll do my we'll do my like last personal favorite because I've injured myself with this before. So I'm just gonna do like a quick little Achilles stretch here. I'm just gonna like press my foot up to a solid surface. I'm just gonna stretch stretch the back of my heel here. I feel like this this stream went by very quickly. This we try to do. We try to do my splits here. We'll see that I'm still like 12 inches off the ground. But hey, why not? <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right. This is my less flexible leg. So we're what? Like a good like 10 inches off the ground here. Let's try the other leg. Uh, this is actually not closer. I thought this was going to be closer. <laughs> Okay, well, we still got a ways to go. Um, that hurt. I feel like my stretches that I've been doing did not prepare me to do that. So, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I need some different stretches. But, <laughs> I'm just going to end it with just kind of grabbing my feet in front of me. Just trying to, like, I feel like, I don't know, like, putting everything, like, back together. Because I just, like, had my limbs all over the place. I don't know if I'm improving or not. I feel like when I first started doing stretch streams, I was like stretching almost every day. And probably if I kept doing that, I would improve. Um, but I'm really bad at remembering to stretch or like making time to stretch. So I don't know. I think I'm probably better than when I first started doing this like several months ago. But like on the whole, I mean like, and I'm still very far from the ground. So <laughs> maybe like a little bit of improvement, but like, they still don't look great, <laughs> but that's okay. All right. I was about to do another butterfly here. I'm like ready to keep stretching. Like now that I looked at my terrible splits, I'm like ready to keep doing more, but probably for my next stream, I'm gonna like look up stretches to like help me get my splits better because that wasn't great. <laughs> but anyway, I will see you all um, in my next stream. Sorry, I was like a little bit short tonight. I have a little bit of a headache. So I thought I was going to shower and it was going to go away, but it hasn't. So I'm going to try to eat some more snacks and see how I feel. Maybe I'll game tonight. We'll see. But I will see you all in my next stream. I do try to stream every day. Um, so I will see you all in tomorrow's stream. Bye. Have a good night. And happy, happy Friday. Happy almost, almost Friday. <laughs>